Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Roach. Tonight, we have more on a story that News 8 has been following for weeks now. The Pennsylvania National Guard is about to present its plan to buy up more land for its firing range. News 8's Lebanon County reporter Barbara Barr shows us a case that could go as far as the Guard using eminent domain to take land from property owners. This is our little piece of heaven. You can see for miles from Brad Flick's porch at Four Winds Horse Ranch in northern Lebanon County. What they want would come up right up to this fence post. The Pennsylvania National Guard has three acres of Flick's property ending here at this tree line in its sights. Flick and 15 of his neighbors, including a Boy Scout camp, just met with Guard officials about acquiring their land. We felt that they were strong arming us. This is what we are going to do, and you don't get a vote. The Guard wants to buy up about 220 acres to expand the firing range at Fort Indian Town Gap. It's going to upgrade from lead to copper bullets. Tests showed the Guard needs a wider buffer zone between the range and surrounding properties to prevent bullets landing there. Three acres is not going to protect us. The Guard's next step is to appraise the land, then make the property owners an offer it hopes they can't refuse. The last resort? Take the land by eminent domain. We prefer to have a willing buyer in, in us and a willing center, seller and landowner. But in the end, if the property owners aren't willing to sell, well, the state can take the land. We have to do what we need to do to maintain everybody's safety and the deployability and the training of our troops. At Fort Indian Town Gap, Barbara Barr, News 8. The guard, by the way, will be on hand to answer questions at the Union Township Supervisors meeting starting at 7 o'clock tonight.